guys, it's Triple C. Uh, I got a request today on uh, somebody wants to know how do I flash the BIOS on my HD4770 graphic card. Well, um, so I'm going to show you in general how to uh, flash the BIOS of any of your ATI graphic cards. And <coughs> this does not cover the NVIDIA ones because they are kind of different on how. Uh, how it's done. So uh, we we'll focus on ATI and we we'll focus on the card I have, 4770, and how to uh, update the BIOS. Well, rather flash the BIOS to the ASUS top version. The reason for doing that is that ASUS top uh, BIOS, uh, you can modify the voltage and have it overclock uh, much further than it is any other version. So here we go. But before that. I gotta give you a warning that doing this will void your warranty and it will very likely not work as well. But for most for the most part I never uh update a BIOS and that doesn't work. Except for one time that was uh, many years ago on the G Force two and then everything went black. But things are different now. Uh, it's much easier and it's much more reliable. It should be okay to do it, but you gotta keep in mind there are there is a chance to fail and you will void your warranty. Okay, here we go. So first you need to make a bootable USB stick. Now everything uh most of the stuff that we get we will get it from uh typepowerup.com. And so whatever tools that you need that I mentioned, simply just search for it from type powered up. Okay, so we'll need to make a bootable C D or USB drive or a uh, floppy disk. Uh, a lot of people don't have the floppy drive anymore, so I'm not gonna go with that. And with the CD, you can only do it once. Whatever that you need to use, you gotta put it on it. So I'm not gonna go with that method. So what I'm gonna do is to use the USB stick, and then we're going to boot with a USB stick. So first thing you need to do is go onto the page, guide to video files flashing, and go to the part that it says making a portable USB stick, and what you want to do is download HP USB stick format tool. Have it downloaded and then you make sure you download this file. It's very important because this file contains all the bootable files information that's needed to create uh, a bootable flash drive. And of course you're going to need a flash drive. And next thing you need is to download ATI flash uh, utility from the same website of course and then uh, just get the latest version doesn't really matter alright and once you have that downloaded just leave it there and then the next thing you need to get is the ATF flash uh, sorry the ATF BIOS so basically what you want to do is go to the session it says video BIOS collection and then you will see this page Okay. And you get to choose what type of video card you're looking for. It's an ATI card. And then the manufacturer, what we want is the ASUS. And then we choose a model of the graphic card, in this case 4770. And there's two results. One says 800 times uh, 800 and 850 on the core and memory speed. And another one says 750 and 800. Well, 750-800 would be the reference speed for ATI HD4770, so this is the one we want, 800-850. That's the stock speed of the ASUS top, and you can modify the sorry, you can modify the voltage. So, just double check on the information, make sure this is the one you want, and then go ahead and download the file. Okay, so uh, I already got all the files as needed, and then we'll go from there. After you have everything installed, run the program. You say you need some permission, so you give it permission. Run as administrator, and there you go. I already have my USB drive plugged in, and then uh, you already detected it. So uh, <coughs> what you wanted to do is set the file system to FAT, and then choose create DOS startup disk. And then that uh, file earlier that you download after you extract it, 
those are the files that's inside so what you wanted to do is that's the folder you want to select for using those file system located at and we go find that folder that we extract and then simply just get it started all the data will be gone yeah yeah and then wait for it to get done there is a uh, utility for the Windows version but then um, we don't recommend a Windows version because it's not as reliable as if you're doing it under the DOS there's a wing flash and there's, a there's another flash utility but ATF flash is known to be most reliable okay so while we're waiting for this to get finished um, there's another thing that's really important that you should do before you uh, go ahead and flash your BIOS what you wanted to do is make a backup of your current BIOS and it's real simple all you need to do is download CPUZ and then run CPUZ and on the section right next to BIOS version here's a little tab if you click on that you get to save your current BIOS to a file so you click that and then you choose somewhere to keep it and there you go you get the BIOS file of your current BIOS that way just in case if something went wrong you can always flash back to your original uh, BIOS okay this is the line you want to remember what you wanted to do is to write this line down because once you get into the DOS mode you will not be able to browse your internet so what I usually do is I write it down to a piece of paper last thing you need to do is to set your USB drive as the first boot device uh, all the BIOS are different so enter your BIOS and see how it's done once you get it done restart the computer and the system should automatically uh, boot out from your USB drive So there you go. And what you wanted to do is to type DIR. That way it shows all the files. Just in case you forgot the file name of your new files. So the command line you just type down. Sorry, you just write down. We're going to type that in. There it is. Well, my is already uh, flashed, so this is it's already programmed. But otherwise, you'll do its thing. And keep in mind, there is a uh, way to force it. All you gotta do is add uh, dash F in front of dash P. That way you'll force it to. Uh